Happy singing to my guys. Let's get into the video. All right, so I'm gonna be doing a new series, and pretty much what it's gonna be is the five lures that I would personally choose, and that would be the best conditions. I'll tell you a little bit about them and how to fish them or whatever. Not necessarily. I'm not out in the water today because I got to work in a little bit, but I'll show you. So we'll start off with number one. So number one, it's May. The grass is starting to green. The grass is greening up and everything. It's starting to get a little warmer. So we are going to bring out these bad boys. We are going to bring out the topwater frog. So, so for topwater frog, you want to fish it when it gets about 65 degrees. You try to fish it near cover, but don't be afraid to throw it in open water. It works in open water as well sometimes. Um, when the, and here's a here's a good rule of thumb: when the sky is blue, throw a black frog. When the sky is cloudy, throw something natural or lighter colored because they won't be they'll be a little more finicky and not as just willing to go after it. And then when you're trying, when you're trying, if you can't get a bite for a while, what I would, what you would do is either fish it faster or slower than you usually do. Or if you, there's a bunch of frog fishermen around you, fish it faster or slower than how they are. Just change your speeds and everything. Let the fish tell you. So if they like it being faster, try it faster. If you seem like you're missing bites, fish it a little slower with more longer pauses or something like that. Next lure. So next lure, the grass has been greening up for a little bit, so you're going to break out these guys right here. Some lipless crankbaits. And I would throw a crawfish pattern because crawfish just seems to work all around. You want to purposely throw it in the weeds, or just around weeds and hook them, and rip it free because those will cause reaction strikes. And the bass, as soon as like it jerks or whatever and stops for a minute, that's when they'll go in and attack it right before you start reeling it again and everything. And as a, as and it works during the spawn too because if you reel it and drag stuff along their bed and everything they don't really like that so they'll attack it and either that would be like an easy meal so think of it that way. Otherwise, when the spawn's getting to a close, I would pick up a bait fish one and I would throw it towards the edge of weeds. I would not necessarily throw it into the weeds like you would with a crawfish one, but throw it around the weeds and everything and just kind of kind of twitch it or whatever or something. Give it some erratic action to make it look different than all the other bait fish that are swimming around, like it's wounded or something. This one's already got like red speckles and red hooks. It looks like a wounded bait fish, and it's gonna be going like this. They're gonna hate that noise too, so that'll work too. So that's that lure. The next lure is an all-time all-time favorite lure. You can fish this anytime, but I always like to include it in this, and it's just one lure that, when it comes to May, it always works for me, and that is a Cinco. And I would use I would use a smaller finesse cinco because you don't need the giant ones yet until they are, until the fall. But when you're choosing a cinco color in clear water, use a more natural like a green pumpkin, red flake, or white. And then when the water's dirty, kind of throw like a June bug, a black and blue, um, maybe a white. And then you can also use this for bed fishing. I'll I'll get into bed fishing in a little bit, but you can use this for bed fishing and it'll work just. Use a lighter color like white or sometimes smallmouth. I don't know why smallmouth just hate pink though. So if you ever around smallmouth and they're bedding, this is more for the northern guys. And everything use pink lure, use a pink cinco or a pink worm. They always work and they always go after. So there's that lure. The next one is probably a rig that some of you have heard of, some of you may not, and it is called the Jika rig. If I can pick it up, and this is the Jika rig right here. Pretty much, it's a it's a extra wide gap or round round band hook with a a dual a dual snap yeah a dual snap and a little weight on it and you want to use like a bluegill or like I just do fish and what this will do is it'll set like this and if you just leave it there it this will switch back and forth and that tail will go everywhere it looks like okay so this is how it works for bed fishing you throw it past their bed work it onto their bed and once you get on there maybe just kind of hop it a little bit or drag it a little bit all around their bed or whatever and this tail will twitch or whatever and it'll make it look like they're eating and the, eating the eggs and everything the bass hate Bluegill especially, so if you have a bluegill pattern, use bluegill and you're for sure to get a bite. For weight, I would use probably, i try to go stick to 1 8 to 1 16th ounce. This is a, I think this is a 3 16th ounce, they didn't have any 1 8 ounce. But it'll just sit like this, quiver a little bit. Uh, it'll give you aggressive strikes and everything. So there's the Jika rig, I'll, show, I'll go in depth in another video if you guys want me to. I can go in depth. So lure slash lures would be a shaky head and... A Ned rig and for these two what I would do for the shaky head is you want to you want to you want as light as possible so go with like an eighth ounce an eighth ounce is what you want for almost heaviest sometimes you want to go lighter than that 
And for colors and everything, I would throw this. Honestly, I've been I've been kind of really kind of liking this. I haven't caught too much with it, but get a regular worms, just worm color with black flakes, and get the chartreuse tail. Dip that in some spike it dip and dye or some uh, what's it called? What's that other called? JJ's magic. And when you throw it out there and everything, you want to fish this on flats or by rocks. Not really weeds because it's not. Well, it is weedless, but. It doesn't really work in weeds as it gets stuck a lot and you will have to free it quite a few times because it'll just get lodged in there and sit like this and yeah but pretty much you throw it out there and it'll just sit there and this tail will just quiver no matter what because the water's always going to be moving so you can literally just throw it out there let it sit like this and if it lands upright which these ones are supposed to land upright it'll go like this and this tail will just wiggle all over and everything and you want to just get like nice little hops or kind of like little twitches and then pause for a minute and everything and then do it again and again and again so there's the shaky head, and then and the other one, the Ned rig right here. I would throw, I would th try to stay as light as possible. This is like, I think, probably eighth, not even eighth ounce. I'd say maybe one sixteenth is what this one is right here. You want to keep it as light as possible. Use a black and blue and dark water, or use a red copper. You can use them in either one. I've caught them in clear water with this, and co red copper. I've caught them in dirty water too. So. Red copper works all around and everything. Pretty much for this, you want to fish it along like little flats or this is this is the Ned Rig, also known as the Bed Rig. Pretty much throw it on their bed and it'll just sit there like this. And this is super strong, so just so you know. I don't I just like saying it. <laughs> but it'll just sit there on the bed like this. That's not rigged very well, but it'll just sit there on the bed. And then you give it like nice little hops, it'll go up like this, go back down go up again like that and it'll always land upright or it'll land at a side and it'll slowly go up because that's what this is designed to do with a flat top right here curled edges and smaller tail it's supposed to go like this and just nice little hops you can fish it almost anywhere you can it's kind of hard to fish it in like big rocks but if there's like little boulders go ahead or flats i like fishing these on flats a lot because if you find a nice drop off or whatever throw it past there and work it on there and you will get a strike somewhere so there's those I want to thank you guys for watching. Once again, happy Cinco de Mayo. Uh, I'm going to go eat some tacos, burritos, enchiladas. Let's see. I'm going to try to I'm gonna try to get out and go fishing maybe. Do a little... Maybe maybe I'll bring all these lures out and these will be the only lures I use. So the frogs, the lipless, the jika rigs, shaky head Cinco's, Ned rig. I'll bring all that out there and fish them. Show you how to do it. Um, and I will leave all the products down in the description for exactly what I use in case if you want to get the same, but thanks for watching and see ya. Thanks for watching and see ya.